Ben Furphy explained this to me one time, but I, well, first of all, I think I just did it wrong. And so, uh, yeah, let me, let me get it. Cause I can, as soon as John asked this question, I'm like, okay, I know exactly what you're talking about. Cause I also get confused about that. Got it. I will try to make it less confusing in V3 then. <laughs> the, two of you both, the two of you both got confused. Well, I think one thing that's confusing is it feels like there's different ways to add field sets. Okay. So here. Uh, different ways to add field sets. I mean, like you could do it in the control panel or you can do it via your files. Yes. Uh, that's that, this is the part I need to figure out. So, because okay. I probably did this wrong, I probably have some duplication that is not necessary. Gotcha. Okay, let's take a look. So let's say so. I've got partials and blocks. Mm -hmm. uh, this is probably what I messed up. Home page embed is this big blob of HTML. Okay. And then I have a block called. Home blob. No, I've got a blob, a blob called yeah, home blob. Okay. I don't know what this. I don't know what this does. I don't know why I made this. Okay, that puts the home page embed uh, partial, which is like right down there at the bottom of your list, in into the template, I guess. Into the template, but does that like, get reflected here? No, you're only going to see that in your like in the output. So like open up home page embed down there. Like a little bit lower in your sidebar. Yeah, this whole thing. Yeah. Yeah. So um yeah, it's it, basically just copying that into the other partial. And probably the reason why you have it duplicated like that is all of those blocks help you keep your different barred blocks organized. Mm. You know, like automatically. You okay. Probably so, have, you probably so, have a page template that's looping through them somewhere and passing the name of the set dynamically to a partial. Yes. So right. I've got. Okay. Yeah, I, there it is. Yeah. Partial. Partial source. It's going to map it to the blocks subfolder and the name of the part of the um block type is going to be the name of the template. Okay. The the right. So any, whatever you name in the field set is going to match, will need to match the name of that block template. Okay. This is what I, cause this is the part I wasn't sure is if, so let's go here now. Yep. I've got one called default. I've got one called post. Okay. Default is, just a basic content markdown field. Okay. And then post has all of these crazy things. Got it. Okay. Image, HTML embed, and home blob. Home blob. Okay. Which, which I just, all I did, I'm not sure if I did this right, but I, I'm taking home blob from here. Yep. Is that, yep. That's correct. Okay. Which, Yep, that's exactly right. Yep. And then that will, because you're mapped to, and I can't draw on your screen, unfortunately, but um, because you're mapped to this folder or to this template, it's just saying, go grab this other one that's over here without having to actually duplicate it. So, yeah, that makes sense. The, the, the way that, that let's, if we were going to write out steps, let me, let me get a notepad here. Mm -hmm. Step one is you create the partial. I would go the other way, personally. Okay. I would just start in the control panel and create the block. Start in the control, control panel. Panel, uh, create a block and go to field sets, right? Yep. Go to field sets. Now, have I organized this poorly? Because I have a field set called post, mm -hmm. but pages, I'm guessing, use the post field set. 
They use whatever field set you want. So when you click create page, you get to choose uh, which yeah. one, default yeah. or post. Yep. And, and I'm probably using the post one. Yep. Which is a little bit confusing because I'm not using the post template. I'm just using the post field set. Got it. Yeah, I mean, you, you kind of have, you're doing like the one field set approach where you kind of make it really flexible and it does lots of stuff, right? Yeah. Yeah. But it might be better to reorganize this. Cause if just you make this. that the default field set mm -hmm. and you don't have any others, it won't even suggest, like it won't even make you pick. It'll just automatically. Gotcha. Oh, that might be it. better. Just in terms of like making it simple to understand what's happening, I guess. But let's let's get you let's get the thing working. Uh, okay. So what, you're trying to make an asset field. You and, go to that hard field. So then you go here, and mm -hmm. um, con. If you want it to be in content, you have to have it within the content section, right? Yep. Exactly. And so I can't just add a new field like this, or can I? That'll add a field to the CTA block type. Gotcha. If you want to, if you want to add a new block, scroll up. This is probably what you guys missed. Hover over this bar where it says content, post content barred. Oh. And over to the right, there's a plus icon. Let's click that. So I'm going to create, let's create a new one. Let's create one called, let's just call, we'll call it crazy. So this is called crazy. Mm hmm. Now you can add whatever fields you want to that set. So let's say that I want to create another HTML blob that I'm going to stick in there. So what would I do now? Yep. Uh, add a new field. If you want to do it exactly the same way, add it. Do a section type. A new field under that set, and then I'm going to choose section. Section. Mm hmm. And let's call this newsletter. Yep. Embed. Cool. Okay. So then I close it. Yep. Okay. okay. So now. Now you save. Now I save. Okay. Oh, did I close it? Save it. <laughs> um, <laughs> and now, uh, so now it's saved. Now what do I do? Uh, jump over to your template. Yep. Make a new uh, partial inside blocks. So I'm going to create a new, a new partial inside of blocks. Blocks and hit new file. Okay, there you go. Okay, so it has to have the same name here. Yep, exactly. Newsletter embed. .html. Yep. Okay, and then so whatever's in there will be output whenever you put that set in line. In your content. So, so why wouldn't I put the HTML right in here? Is there any reason to do it outside of it the way only, I'm doing? Only if you needed to use it manually elsewhere and you just wanted to organize that way. It's really up to you. Hmm. So I'm trying to think of when I would want to manually, meaning if I wanted a... Yeah, I don't understand why I wouldn't just always make all of these partial here yeah, blocks. Make them blocks. Yeah, you definitely could. And then if you ever needed to use them like manually, like hard coded into a template, you would just do partial like blocks slash newsletter embed. I mean, you can still do it, just slightly longer. Oh, I see. This just gives it a short code name that's a little bit easier. Yep, that's it. Okay, that so then, sense. then I would have a newsletter embed code in here. Um, right. I'll just put for now. I'll just put newsletter embed here. Okay, so I could save this, and now I'm done, right? Yeah, that's it. So now, if I go to a page or a post, I can create an entry here. And now when I go to the thing, we have 
<laughs> you called it crazy. I called it crazy. And so this, in my notes, I want to put ad set. This will be the name that appears in the editor. Yep. Like, what do we call this? We just call it, what is this thing? That's the, like, the list of sets. So this is a, a set. That's why, that's also confusing because there's a little bit of hierarchy there that. Around what you name things? Well, look at this. So HTML embed is the actual kind of name that gets invoked. The, yeah, we call it the handle, right? Okay. okay. Yep. That's the handle that gets invoked here. Because I'm thinking, thinking of these as blocks. Mm -hmm. They're actually set. Because right. I could have image here, but I could also have, I could have it so that this set inserts As, 20 images. Yes. Yep. And some captions and a link to some Flickr gallery for more photos or whatever. Like, like, so that set can have a lot of things. That's why we call it a set and not just a block. It's not one thing. It is whatever you want to mm, make it. My images aren't clickable right now. Okay. If, if I wanted to make them clickable... So I could add a new field here. Mm -hmm. And I would add a text field. Yep. And I could call this clickable image. <laughs> clickable image URL is probably better. <laughs> okay. Um, and is that all I would have to do here? Yep, that's it. Just close it, save it. And so now, how do I invoke this in my code. Yep, so go to your template. Okay, now you have access to that new variable that you just made. Can I add a new if here? If, uh, yep. Clickable URL, would I do it here? I, I'm waiting to see if you figure it out. Well, I know that I can end the if, but I'm also seeing I'm like, a. A blunt way to do this would be to go uh, if and then go else. And then duplicate all of it. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So what I would probably do. Um, try this thing again. A, yeah. A, clickable image URL. Okay. So I'm just going to put time for now. Mm -hmm. Save it. Yeah, let's try this. And then this should go to time. Okay, perfect. There you go. Yeah. So does that make sense now, how they're, all the pieces connect? Yeah. I think the the biggest thing in my head was like, it's like, oh, this is weird. I'm putting these blocks in three places. Like, what creates yeah. these? But the control right. in the control panel, you're just kind of, the control panel is just creating the UI. Right, exactly. Um, and you don't have to do the block partials. Like you could just have an if, else, else, else check for each of the sets and render it that way. So look at my article template. Mm -hmm. is yeah, so that's like the quote regular way to do it. Okay. That if type equals HTML embed. So like all of that in your, like the Justin site mm -hmm. um, was like abstracted to that. Mm -hmm. And then each, each one gets his own file. So it's not this giant template to scroll through. That's all. Mm -hmm. But it's, it works exactly the same. It's just a personal preference. Cool, dude. I really appreciate your time, man. Yeah, no problem at all. Okay. Thanks. Yep, get to later.